Hello, Sterling families. We are so excited that you have joined us for another day of Mystery Readers. Today's story has a main character who loves chocolate. Listen to the story to see how Tina's chocolate obsession goes a little bit too far. Don't forget to pay attention to the word of the day and write it down on your calendar. It's Chocolatina by Eric Kraft, illustrated by Dennis Brunkus. Tina loved chocolate more than anything in the world. She loved it more than birthdays, more than roller skating, and definitely more than dried fruit. Everyone called her Chocolatina. When dad asked, how would you like your eggs, Chocolatina? Tina always said, with a bowl of Cocoa Crunchies, please. When the lunch lady asked, what kind of milk would you like today, Chocolatina? Tina always picked chocolate milk. And when mom said, tonight we'll have fruit salad for dessert, Tina covered hers with chocolate. Tina's health teacher, Mrs. Ferdman, hated chocolate and everything else that children liked. You should only eat foods that are good for you, she told the class. On special occasions like birthdays or full moons, she gave them all dried prunes. Mrs. Ferdman's favorite saying was, you are what you eat. She would write it on the chalkboard and make the children repeat it every day at the end of class. You are what you eat. You are what you eat. You are what you eat. One day, during this part of health class, Tina bit the ear off of a chocolate bunny. Then she stood up and said, I wish that were true. That night, a strange thing happened. Do, do, do. When Tina woke up, she felt all stiff. She went downstairs and looked in the mirror. Immediately, she saw why. I turned into chocolate, she cried. Whatever you say, Chocolatina dear, said her mother from behind her newspaper. Now hurry up and eat your breakfast or you'll miss the bus. When Tina got on the bus, everyone gasped. Do you mind if we don't sit together today, Chocolatina? Her best friend Patty asked. My mom will ground me if you get chocolate on my new shirt. After a lonely bus ride, Tina was glad to be in spelling class, her favorite subject. But her first word in the spelling bee was Coco, and she got so flustered she spelled it wrong. At lunchtime, Jimmy Del Rooney tried to bite off one of Tina's elbows. I just wanted dessert, he said to the principal. Recess was horrible. Tina was too stiff to run or jump. So she had to just stand and watch everyone else have fun. When it was time to go back in, her feet had melted to the hot pavement. The other children had to carry her back inside. Worst of all, it was time for health class. Dun, dun, dun. Mrs. Ferdman made Tina stand at the front of the classroom. Didn't I tell you, class, you are what you eat. That's right, see me after class, Tina. When everyone else had left, Mrs. Ferdman began to laugh. Ha 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 ha, I hope this would happen. I hope you wouldn't listen to me. I hope you turn into chocolate, girl. Do you know why? Why, asked Tina, who was shaking so hard she thought she might crumble into a pile of chocolate chips. 
because I love chocolate better than anything, shouted Mrs. Ferdinand. She grabbed Tina, opened her mouth wide, and went straight for Tina's right ear. Just then, the principal walked in. Mrs. Ferdman, I was wondering. Mrs. Ferdman, what on earth are you doing? I, I thought she was a prune, said Mrs. Ferdman. The principal walked Mrs. Ferdman outside, and she was never seen at that school again. That night, safe at home in her bed, Tina cried a little chocolate syrup tear. I wish I could be a normal girl again, she whispered. And when she woke up, that's just what she was. Hooray, she cried. I'll never eat chocolate again. Hurry up and eat your breakfast, dear, or you'll miss the bus, calls Tina's mother. On the table was a giant bowl of Tina's favorite super chocolatey cereal. I'll never eat chocolate again, said Tina. Starting tomorrow, and she ate it all up. And look what happened to Miss Birdman. We hope you enjoyed today's read aloud of Chocolate Tina. Don't forget to spend some time today reading your own book at home. And we will see you tomorrow for the next Mystery Reader.